Somehow, everything has to be based on money, otherwise there's no value, that's probably what I used to think. After all, that was the Sh Showa era, where we always feel deficiency in this society. It's time for us to reflect this concept. It's time to realize what we put value on. That is my feeling. Money used to be the only tool to measure a value. But now I'm happier if people press a like button for me. We can find so many values in our daily life. It's time to realize that we have so much abundance around us. We all have to make a living. So we tend to get very emotionally upset around the area. We probably enjoy the play of being limited or restricted. But we know this already. You provide your value, and by doing so, it immerses into the universe and comes back to you. Hello, this is Yoshi. Welcome to the Starseed channel. This is Akiko. Hello. So today we want to think about value. Sure we can, Yoshi. Well, talking about value, now we have value on money, and we also have something valuable that replaces money. That is a kind of a polarization or variation that we were experiencing. What do you think about those areas, Akiko? Uh, well, for me, the uh, value equals to energy. That's what I feel. And how can I say, what kind of stuff do you put value on? It's quite free now. It's time to reflect our value. And it's time to be self-aware of what kind of stuff do we find valuable. I see. I've had a lot of experience and lessons about money through my life. On one hand, my family was full of debt eating weeds on the ground. On the other hand, I've been a consultant who increases the income of business people. And especially for the last 20 years, development of IT and internet, surely generating values other than money. In the past, money was the only value. There's nothing more easier to explain value than money. Gold could be the one, but... For example, on the internet, people value followers more than money. Those people are increasing. Oh, really? For example, Twitter or this YouTube is the same, right? Mm-hmm. Even the advertiser said they give you money, but people wouldn't want it. A lot of people are like that. Oh, I see, I see. So they know that is more valuable than money. And the younger generation knows it better. Is it kind of like a value on enjoyment? Enjoyment or the feelings? They put more value on their feelings. I think the feeling is the most important for them. And also uh, probably coolness as well. Ah, I see, I see. That's probably the same for the art, right? I think so too, Akiko. Because on art, value changes depends on the person who look at it. And also those people on art, they put value on creating and generating. Well, Akiko, I've been reading a lot of books about talks that talks about money is energy, and it has been really difficult to understand, and it used to be hard to imagine it, but now I really understand it, that it's actually energy. How about you, Akiko? 
Oh, about money being an energy? Yeah, I really feel that、um, money is energy. Because、uh, what I do is giving out what I have, and this amount of energy、uh, comes back as a money in one shape, or another one is people's、uh, joy. But I think money has been really easy to understand so far. Instead, I think the money had the、uh, authority. This kind of era lasted a really long time. It's also called、uh, the era of hierarchy, that kind of、uh, system of companies or authority where money and power controls over people as a huge energy. But now, those power is used by i n d i v i d u a l in a small circle,、uh, contributing different things such as YouTube videos, Instagram, putting up your、uh, photos. This kind of value we are having now, I think. By pressing like button or follow each other, this is already an exchange of values. Money used to be the only tool to measure the value, but Now, people are happier getting more like buttons than that. And many of them prefer likes than money.、Uh, I see. Is it all about exchange of energy? I think. I think it's all about energy. They're putting value on those things. Well, we used to think money is money, but I think it's kind of changing now. Yeah, that's right.、Um, for example,、uh, for SNS, I'm kind of expert around that area as IT. It's often said in the SNS world that, for example, if you have a thousand followers and friends,、uh, that means you can make a living out of it. The reason is because those people know themselves very well and they post whatever they like or things and they share their experience or what they learned. And by doing so, they are kind of earning points from the followers. And what happens is that、uh, if you have any trouble,、uh, say, like you don't have money to buy your meal, can you treat me? If you say that to a thousand people, maybe one of them will, right? And some actually live like that. People who make a living out of being treated. Really? People are queuing up to treat them for one year. Queuing up? <laughs> I think now values are quite、uh, diverse now. That's what I think. So, listening to your story, I understand it as because you are giving out some value to them,、uh, that's why people want to give it back. So, there are many people who want to do it and they're waiting to give you back. That means we are, after all, exchanging values. I think this style is quite natural. We're coming back to the original style.、Mm. That's why I used to have a.、Um, always thought I need to earn money, earn money. Or、um, we can't be happy or wealthy without money. Everything has to be based on money and we find value on it. Otherwise, there will be no value on us. That's what we used to think. And many of us probably are the same. I was the same too. I grew up in a deficiency. Always, always a deficiency. Uh, that's where I grew up in my family. But also, the era of Showa was t h a t kind of age of deficiency. Everyone was in deficiency as a society. Yes, I see. 
That's why we always thought that we need to earn more money for the future. This kind of concept is always with us. Yes, the concept or philosophy,、uh, that's the same. For example, a college. Go to a good college and go to、um, work in a good place, good company, earn this much money or the degree, and that kind of things. How can I say? This is really superficial, but we used to aim for the direction. But this kind of concept is also collapsing now. Yes, that's right. I didn't go to college, but I, I introduced myself as an elementary school entrepreneur. What I did was farming beetles or creating my own games. That wasn't a proper、um, entrepreneurship back then, but the world's most famous YouTuber in the world is just、uh, eight years old, called Ryan. Yes, yes, yes. I know him. He earns like 3.5 billion yen. Well, it's all about internet. That's incredible. <laughs> so, my point is that、uh, the, this is the same for the Ryan, but what, did, what they did on YouTube is that、um, with、uh, their parents, his parents, mother and father,、um, they just delivered the video of him、uh, playing with something and find it very interesting. Just playing with toys. Oh, these my kids are really interesting.、Uh, that's, that's about it. There was already an exchange of value there. <laughs> Things that is valuable in our daily life. So we were made to believe that only certain things have value. And we thought that was the truth. But actually, there are plenty of values in our daily life of treasure. So, in case of Brian, getting huge reaction from the audience just by videoing his daily life. That means that it's very valuable. Some YouTubers have a lot of audiences just by taking their daily life. So, there is actually a lot of value in your daily life if you. I take a look at it and put it out. And I think we all started to realize this in sharing our value through internet. That's incredible if you think about it. It certainly changed things a lot. For me,、um, not only money, but the point and followers are quite important. In the online community, community of s t a r s e e s we have this、uh, on- online flea market where we have points that circulate within the system. The concept of the points used to be like you just save them, but, but now you use your points or receive your points by contributing something or by selling something. It could be money, but if we use points, Um, we can exchange values、uh, through points. I think that was the natural shape of yes, yes, money. Yes, I understand. Do you understand? But there's something unnecessary things like interest and made it really complicated、um, shape of hi- hierarchy, a dominating system. But it was originally a simple exchange of commodity. If you exchange commodity and bring it back, it will be too heavy. For example, rice or 60 kilos of rice or meat. So instead, we use money for exchange. And now it became、uh, with the internet, we can make it as a point. I see. So we just came back to the original. We became simpler, and it was okay as being simple originally. That's what we realized. What a good era. I really think so. I think we've been out of alignment for a long time. We used to believe values are concentrated on one thing. 
And if we don't do that, there's no value. We lived in this kind of world for a long time. Yes, we have, and we used to. And we also made to believe that. Do you remember the time of bubble in Japan? The body conscious thing? Yes, that kind of the era. I was too young back then, though. Yes, I was too young as well for that. So, in that kind of the society, value is put on money or class or status. The kind of world domi was dominant, and it's also changing right now. But I think these lies are very visible yeah, right everyone now. Everyone can see it. Good era, very good time, I see. Very equal time, right? And after all, everything is very valuable and a lot of wealth around you. We try to be someone and try to so hard to do that. But now we realize that we can find abundance this close to us. And now time has come for us to realize this. It's a very good time. And also in regards to value, for example, we sometimes feel value as cheap or expensive. Mm -hmm. Shall we talk about that area as well? Uh, value that you feel cheap or expensive. Oh. If we take one side, we kind of want to do an event for free. Right? Yes, I know. Especially for starseed people. But on the other side, there is some um, paid event where there was some debate or argument about our paid event. And I thought I learned a lot from them. Ah, uh, I see. It's about how you see it. Well, I have a strong feeling of I want to share everything with all of you. But, well, I think after all, I think for this time, mental blockage about money of each of us just emerged. Probably you became self-aware of the blockage. Because if you respond to something strongly, that means you have a blockage there. It became apparent where you have your mind very focused or attracted. So each of our value became clearly visible. I think this incident made it apparent. Yeah, that's right, Akiko. How are you like, Yoshi? Yeah, yeah. I also used to, well, what can I say, appear business events as a guest speaker with a different settings of prices in the past as well. On one hand, there were free ones and the other one was quite expensive. And I felt the difference of participants between those two. How was it different? For example, a free one, when I did the uh, event for free, it was sort of light. But as a consultant, when we do events, the cost is usually a couple of thousand with a mission of increasing the sales of the, the company, which makes us quite serious or very strict. I always think that I should give a lot more value than I receive. That's why I provide my professional knowledge. I sometimes host those kind of events. One is free, another costs a couple of thousands. Why does this happen? If the value of the recipient matches the price. And if the recipient feel it's valuable for them, they will join. And they think the price is worth, they join. I think that's what it is. But on the other hand, I've been watching many people have different patterns. But reaction to prices. So I think it's just the emerge of emotions that we talked about before. 
I see. Yeah, I understand. People have、mm, different w a y of doing things and also different w a y of、uh, understanding. So I think it's time to realize what does it mean to you. And this was one chance of us to realize this. And especially this year, we have many of those opportunities. How can I say we review our value or, or what kind of things do you have a reaction to? And it's time to realize those things. I like something very easy going. Oh, yes, the v e r m i l l i u m Festival. I also、uh, appeared a little bit in the festival. It was a good event. I loved that, that kind of、oh, event. Oh, really? How well, did you feel? Because, well, we have been, as I mentioned before,、um, we've been hosting a lot of events that is quite、uh, formal. Haha, <laughs> formal one. So we had to make everything right. So our staff used a lot of money. And the ticket becomes very expensive.、Ah, I see. But、uh, talking about this easygoing style, like this l e m u r i a n Festival or the previous summer festival, I, every time I get moved, every time, the energy of the festival is very relaxing and maybe we don't think really need to be、uh, serious or right. Of course, we have different happenings or problems. The Millennium Festival was very good.、Uh, the song and Yoshi's performance was good. Thank you. And actually, we all try to zone out until the day of the event. <laughs> zone out! <laughs> we were trying to be. Less serious as possible because I thought it's important not to be serious, you know. Because I always tend to make、yeah, you're wearing、right. polo shirts, which is kind of formal. Well, this is kind of、uh, formal, but I still got a little bit of pattern on oh, it. Oh, yes, Panther. Can't see Yoshi. So, so is this、uh, your non formal polo shirt? But, anyways, we tend to try to be formal or make it right. Everything. Well, some people, if you ask them,、uh, please have a rest. Then they say, oh, I try to have a rest. But I h a v e been、effort. like that for a long time. And doing things very properly. Because I've been a believer of a proper, proper religion. So, in that sense, Zoning out is one thing that's good to do, but I wanted to challenge something which was a singing. Ah, so you decided on the day? Yeah, that's right. Even Yoshi keeps challenging himself.、Mm-hmm. And I, what I feel a bit sorry about is. I have an inspiration of this song called Umi no Koe, which is made by Begin. Because it quite sounded like m i l l e m u r i a n But the、uh, other person was singing the same song in the first part of yeah, the event. Yeah, but、uh, you guys have different energy and totally,、uh, the sound, sound, it sounded totally different. So that was really good. Maybe not many people realized that was the same song. Everything was in harmony. Energy of higher dimensions are harmonized and everything is okay. I like the feeling of we can release in a relaxed way. So there's no value there, everything is there. But somehow it was fun time, good time. I think everyone, each of us, h a v e different things we want to provide or. We have different things that we want to do, but I wonder if that kind of event ever happened before. I haven't done much yet, though. Well, really. 
So with the value that we used to have, was that for seven hours or eight hours? <laughs> that was 7.5 hours. So for 7.5 hours of an event without any rehearsal, we delivered on YouTube. We didn't have that kind of courage before. Yeah, right. And if we were to do that, we would thought that we have to do properly, very properly, and do a lot of rehearsals. Ah, I see. We didn't do any rehearsal. Or did we do that? We said so we're not doing properly, but um, our staffs are doing really well, like with a full effort. But uh, in our uh, previous standard, we used to do preparation way before. And how long was it before uh, before we started to plan this? I can't remember it. Two weeks? One or two weeks. I haven't done anything before that. We just did the uh, wearing a sali. <laughs> really. I think that's great. I think this is the era. I love this kind of thing and I tend to find value on this kind of things. Because I like things as energy and various energies. I found interest in many different things, but I found really big abundance in this. And it made myself clear that I love these kind of things. That was amazing. I think we just provided a new value. Oh, I see. I was so happy. Because the people who's making the event are really enjoying it and uh, not for the money, but having a, having this feeling of, I want to do this. And everyone prepared with joy. Things made with this kind of energy can be really communicated to the audience. This seven hour long event with so many people supporting it all this energy surely have been communicated to the audience and it was very moving to know we can make this much harmony. Maybe this is the new value or this is a kind of a cosmic. Pretty and I like this because this is quite natural. Well, it's very interesting. Um, but still, um, for audiences, who also that kind of uh, emotion what we talked about before about values after all we have lived in this value about money and we have um, we need to make a living and probably sometimes we have a lot of incident that stir our emotions can you give anything to say about it or any message from the universe what shall I do? Shall we get a message from the universe if you like? Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, receive a message from the universe for you who's watching this and about your value. Each of us have tendency to direct our mind to certain things. That is going to be, on earth term, your value. So it's important, what are you going to direct your mind to, make it clear. Because what you direct your mind is an intention. And your intention creates your reality. I want you to realize this. So you're the one who's deciding the value by focusing on certain things. But this means nothing in a cosmic term. Meaning nothing means everything is free and where you put your consciousness or mind towards is what you choosing. Strongly comes back to you strongly. But if you don't react, nothing comes back. This is how this world works. So please be aware of where are you directing your mind by yourself but anyway everything is free there's no limit 
that's what they say. But for this area on the earth, used as a play. And also there were some kind of control or over what we value. However, it's time to realize that we are a far more free. And that's about it. Thank you very much. It's about freedom. Now it's time we can find out our value freely. Because we are surrounded by abundance. Because yeah, that's we're true. actually really abundant. So it's like there are many valuation actually existed. But before we were split into half of this is good or this is not good. But it sounded like uh, this is okay yeah, and that right. is okay too. So it's like asking, what do you want to choose? And that's what universe is. There was the universe, but we were enjoying the play of restrict restricted value. Now we realize this. From myself, I might try saying something at the end as well. Yeah, good. The message from the universe. I don't know about the message from the universe, but I get something. Message from something. Can you get a message from the bear behind you? <laughs> the bear? Can you channel the message from the bear? <laughs> so he thinks the value is, so far, it's always something you were given. Something in, including in information. But from now on, if you give out something, it's gonna return to you. It's okay to do that to people around you or of course you can use SNS or internet. So giving out something, uh, give value. The value you give out, it's gonna immerse into the universe and comes back to you. And it's gonna circulate and expand. And that's it from the bear. Can you give more messages? The bear can only give one word. It has a great level of presence. What a good message. You give out and by doing that you receive. Back. Good to hear that. Thank you very much, Yoshi. Then shall we say farewell with Dewa Dewa as usual? Okay, please. Thank you very much. Dewa Dewa. Thank you very much. The bear finally appeared this channel. Has it been growing? Maybe. Is it growing? Is that a real one? Uh, that weed the, is the not weed. real one. <laughs> that was a fake. I thought it was growing every time I see it.